Good evening. This is Agashwani Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Country celebrates Rashtriya Ekta Divas or Unity Day commemorating birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Nagaland celebrates Rashtriya Ekta Divas by organizing Unity Run and administering Unity Pledge. Nagaland Chief Secretary emphasizes on good documentation and role clarity of stakeholders for better preparedness of disaster. And Deputy Chief Minister Dia Zeliang briefs Union Minister Nitin Katkari on road projects in Nagaland. Now the news in detail. Rashtriya Ekta Divas or Unity Day is being celebrated across the country today, commemorating the birth anniversary of the Iron Man of India, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who is also the first Union Home Minister of Independent India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi participated in the National Unity Day celebrations at Statue of Unity in Ekta Nagar, Gujarat, this morning and paid floral tributes to Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Union Home Minister Amit Shah flagged off Run for Unity from Major Dhyan Chan National Stadium in New Delhi this morning to mark National Unity Day. Speaking on the occasion, Shah said Sardar Patel had an unforgettable contribution in uniting such a huge country. He said after independence, the British had left the country to disintegrate and at that time, Iron Man Sardar Vallabhai Patel did the work of making the map of India by uniting more than 550 princely states into a threat of unity in a few days. Shah also administered unity pledge to the people. Earlier, President Draupadi Mumu, Vice President Jagdip Thankar and Union Home Minister Amit Shah paid floral tributes to Iron Man of India, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, on his birth anniversary in New Delhi. Nagaland joined the rest of the country in celebrating Rashtriya Ekta Divas or Unity Day today by organising Unity Run and administering Unity Pledge in different districts. In the state capital Kohima, Rashtriya Ekta Divas was observed at Raj Pawan. Governor La Kanesan, along with the officers and staff, paid tribute to Iron Man of India, Sardar Patel, on his Jayanti. Unity Bletch was also administered to participants. Nagaland Chief Secretary J. Alam administered the Rashtriya Ekta Divas Pledge, along with all the administrative heads of departments at the Secretariat Conference Hall. The Department of Youth, Resources and Sports organised a Run for Unity event at Indira Gandhi Stadium in Kohima where around 200 men and women from diverse sections of society actively participated. In Longleng, the district administration organised a Unity Run where Superintendent of Police Young Jamir flagged off the run and administered the Unity Pledge. In Mukukchung, the district administration organised Unity Run for Unity, where over 60 NCC cadets from various schools and colleges participated. Additional Deputy Commissioner Chamlamu Humzoi administered the Unity Pledge and flagged off the run. In Nokluck District, Deputy Commissioner Ari Gumba administered the Unity Pledge and flagged off the run for Unity, while in Dimapu, the district administration, in collaboration with the district sports officer, organized Run for Unity at Government Higher Secondary School, Nagarja. Nagaland Chief Secretary J. Alam has emphasized the need to have good documentation and role clarity of each stakeholder and authority for better preparedness of any disaster. The Chief Secretary was addressing the Capacity Development Programme on Nagaland Emergency Preparedness Exercise organised by Nagaland State Disaster Management Authority, NSDMA, at ATI Kohima today. He said disaster is a phenomenon for which everyone should be prepared for as it can be predictable or unpredictable. Alam added to keep executing such exercises to help prepare for all kinds of disasters. Apart from undertaking such preparedness with utmost seriousness, he felt the need to keep documenting it properly so that it creates guidance for the employees to follow. Alam also urged all AHODs and HODs to read the NSDMA's Incident Response System guidelines properly to understand the hierarchical structures, roles and responsibilities of various authorities, adding that it will help them prepare when disaster strikes. 
He also observed the need to have the exercise of mapping various capacities and resources available with various formations and resources available within the state. Alam further suggested setting up of a field hospital capacity within the NSTMA in order to provide for any emergencies in remote areas. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipiro has greeted the Kuki, Chin and Mizo communities on the occasion of Chavang Kut. Rio expressed hope that the Thanksgiving festival of post-harvest will foster peace and strengthen long-standing tradition of peaceful coexistence among the people. This news comes to you from Akashvani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin live on News On Air app and YouTube channels AIR News Kohima and Akashvani Kohima program. Deputy Chief Minister Nagaland Dia Zeliang attended a meeting called by Union Minister of Road, Transport and Highways Nitin Katkari and Minister of State for Road, Transport and Highways General VK Singh retired at Gauhati yesterday to review national highway projects in the northeast states. In the meeting, Zeliang briefed the Union Minister that due to the unique land holding system in Nagaland, the state government has limited role to intervene on the matter. However, Zeliang added that the state government is working on framing state law, land laws which will help ease the problem. In response, Katkari said, Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways is sincerely working to build good roads all over the country, but if land is not made available, there is little that they can do for development of the roads. In this regard, he said, the state government should come up with a state law within a couple of months to help resolve the issues or the ministry will be compelled to de-scope the portion where there are land issues and the national highway would be handed over and converted to state government. The deputy chief minister also raised the issue of rockfall within the Bagala Bahar stretch on National Highway 29. Zeliang also urged the Union Minister to expedite for completion of all packages of the four-lane road, Dmabu Kohima, as it has been delayed for so many years. Deputy Commissioner Mugukchung Tsuvise Pochi has issued a travel advisory in view of the major damage caused to the Baili Bridge at Kilometre 12 along National Highway 202 between Ungma and Longsa villages. The advisory stated that movement of all vehicles along the affected stretch of road and across the bridge is restricted with immediate effect. It stated that the concerned departments are in the process of repairing works and until its completion, the total restriction of movement of vehicles along the route will remain enforced. The advisory has directed travellers to and from neighbouring districts like Pensang, Shamato and Noklak to ply on alternative routes via New Sangsumong, Yehemi Adweze, Doyang Mukukchung, Chuchuimlang Longmisa, Ali Sopur, Trongar National Highway 202 and Mukukchung Diku Chare. Deputy Commissioner of Beren District, Vinit Kumar, has asserted that only the police and transportation departments can authorise personnel to carry out patrolling and checking of vehicles on the highways. Stating reports of recent incidents where public has been carrying out checking and stopping of vehicles along the national highway within Beren District, Kumar said no individual organization of villages can take law into their own land hand and cannot interfere in the activities of law enforcement authority. He informed that citizens indulging in such activities along the national highways or any other state highway passage will be dealt with as per the relevant section of law. The Deputy Commissioner further directed village councils to refrain their village members or organization from such practices within their jurisdiction. And now it's Monday news, here are the main points again. Country celebrates Rashtriya Ekta Divas or Unity Day commemorating birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Nagaland celebrates Rashtriya Ekta Divas by organizing Unity Run and administering Unity Pledge. Nagaland Chief Secretary emphasizes on good documentation and role clarity of stakeholders for better preparedness of disaster. And Deputy Chief Minister Dia Zeliang briefs Union Minister Nitin Katkari on road projects in Nagaland. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.